Today is uh, Saturday, June the 1st, 2013, and my name is David Faber. This is the second video in our um, video workflow, uh, workflow series. And um, so just to um, uh, remind you of how we're naming footage here, here's, here's an example of... Um, uh, I've named this uh, video uh, project that I just, um, this is actually the save out of ScreenFlow, and it's uh, 2013 0601, and then the next 01 is the number of the video. Uh, that's another important thing. If you shoot 18 videos, one after another, you better darn well number them so you know which is which. So the first, uh, this is the first uh, uh, video in this series, and the name of it is Creating Editable, Foot uh, uh, editable, editable, editable Footage. So now we've got that one done. Um, and if we go over here and look in our uh, PR Reach assets, we will see, yes indeed, we have our uh, MP4 file here. So now the next step, um, well, if, if this was a video that a uh, piece of footage that I was going to um, Put on put on the web really quickly. I'll I'll just walk you through how I would do it. Um, I uh, for myself, and then we'll uh, figure out how to do this for um, um, Rob here. I've got these video templates here. I've got some old Camtasia ones I haven't used in years, but here's the primary one I use, which is this uh, template for ScreenFlow for the Inside Track Party. So I'm going to right click and say duplicate boom, and take that and drop it into this project and let's see so so all I did was change this uh, screen flow project to Eben Pagan accelerate press release alright now let's open this uh, file up and you can see what's in it this is really important um, because if you do this, it'll save you loads of time when you're doing video edits. So you see inside this project, it's very simple. Uh, for, and I do all my video editing in uh, ScreenFlow. So um, <clears throat> uh, all I've done here is the first thing to get a, a project ready is you click the resize here and you change the background to white. The default's black, and I much prefer the white uh, letter boarding to black. And then you just say apply, and that gives you a white background to work with. I used to take a white ping image and stretch across the whole thing. And inside this, um, there are a couple of uh, pieces here. One is this front piece that I've just got inside track party, and then you know some uh, bullets. And then I've got my next thing here is uh, another part of the front plate template is you're the right place if you love having the inside track on living well doing what you love join your tribe today get the inside track so these are common elements that occur in most of my um, videos so we'll go back over here oh and also there's a bumper this little audio track So that audio track I just put together in about 15 minutes inside of uh, GarageBand years ago. And if you ask me how I did it, I I would just have to get back into GarageBand and play around with it. I just, it was one of the first things I ever did in GarageBand. I just fooled around with it and, and messed around with it, adding instruments to an existing track. and Or what was it? No, I took a bunch of uh, beats and uh, remixed them to come out with an original sounding uh, stinger. So let's go over here to our front plate, uh, and then uh, we're going to change this to um, um, let's see. I guess you know. Well, I'll I'll show you how I would do it. Um, I would change this to David Favor and announces and um, you know maybe I'd change this domain to mine and I do you know reformat this different ways I could go uh, I could cut this and 
put it up here. It'd help if I spelled the nouns right. Uh, and then, uh, what was this? Evan Pagan Accelerate. And then there's a bunch of blank spaces here, which ought to be getting rid of. Poop, poop, poop. Whoops. And. So I clicked outside of the box and then inside the box once to get the handles. And I'm just squinching this up together. It looks like there's two block lines in there, so I got rid of one. Paper announcing. Uh, and I'd probably change this to Ebon Pagan Accelerate. All right, so here's our, and I'm just dragging this to get it centered. Bang. And I hit the uh, command save to save it. So now I've got my front plate done. And then I'm just going to go over here to, uh, where's my asset folder? And I'm going to take my MP4 file and drop it here in the media bin. And now we're done with this. And we don't need this piece because this is, we just got one piece of footage. So um, now I'm just going to take this one track, bring down here, take my audio bumper and my uh, text bumper, uh, save the, the um, project, which is Command S again. <laughs> See how it looks. Welcome to another PRReach.com video news release in today's news. Evan Pagan accelerate bonus totaling more than three thousand dollars of deal. Black Box Social Media, an online marketing company that utilizes the latest digital marketing strategies to assist small businesses with getting found online, has announced a prize pack. I noticed that her voice is a little bit out of sync. Um, I, I mean, I won't do it on this video, but I would probably go back and uh, try to add back in my as async uh, one option to the rewrapper, and then I'd probably also go back and. Um, maybe try a few things to uh, maybe uh, transcode it into an MOV container instead of an MP4 container and see if I could sync her voice up a little farther. Um, but this is good enough for government work right now. Uh, now I'm going to hit the resize canvas and we're going to change this to a, a normal uh, 1920 1080p. Whoops, help if I type 1080 correctly. Now let's uh, make sure that we've got this all lined up. Welcome to another P All right, so uh, everything looks good here. Um, and just going back because I did this really fast, if you click this resize canvas, I just changed this to the normal uh, 1080p format, which is 1920 by 1080p. Uh, and then I'll right click on this and I'll say add uh, starting and ending transitions, which is if you, uh, if you now watch what happens is this sort of fades in slowly. And then that's it for me. Um, uh, that this is this is the final um, the final project for me, and then I would go up and say uh, export, and this is really important too. Um, we're going to export it 100%, and I'm going to hit customize, and always export at say current for the frame rate, and then uh, for uh, BSLs or um, sales letters, things like that. Uh, always do a thousand bits kilobits per second 
and always do uh, whatever the lowest frame rate, like eight, because you don't need a 30 or 15 or 60 frame per second video if it's just a video sales letter because the the amount of changes between frames is so low that the low, that the low frame rate um, you'll never even notice it with the human eye. Now for video footage with moving people like this girl, I'm, I'd say uh, export at the current and I'd cap this at 5,000 kilobits per second and that's at the fastest. Uh, fastest encode, use always single pass instead of multi-pass um, because the multi-pass doesn't really buy you much anymore. And then here I've got uh, quality is set at best. Whoops. Looks like it's uh, disappeared off the screen here a little bit. So the quality is set at best, and this is set at a uh, mono recording or mono output. So that's okay. That's okay. Let's just see how long this. Uh, this is a two point two three. Two and a half, uh, three minute video. So let's see how long it would um, uh, take if I was actually going to uh, um, export this. So let's go in here and again, we're going to export this as um, our um, the same name here. So I'm going to choose that as the name up here. And instead of going to the desktop, I'm going to say other, and I'm going to export it directly into the uh, PR Reach asset place. And let's see how long this would take. Uh, okay, so see, um, it says that it's only going to take uh, three minutes to export a three-minute video. Now, here's an important consideration. If you're doing this on a machine like, um, let's see, how can I explain this? Actually, let's let's go back to our terminal window while this is exporting. I can explain this well here. I'm going to say I'm going to run the the program top, and I'm going to say um, sort the output by CPU time. Now, if you look at the CPU indicator here, um, it's running at um, uh, tele this net telestream is um, the export function of um, ScreenFlow and you'll notice there's this line and this line and both of those are running uh, near 300% so that means that this export function is taking 600% of the CPU. Now what that means is that I've got a um, I've got a quad-core hyper-threaded processor in this machine, which means there are eight cores. So that means that um, you could realistically export at 800% of the CPU because that's eight cores. So eight times 100 is 800. This is so efficient that it's using, um, you know, something like 75-80% um, of the entire machine's throughput right now is now dedicated towards Telestream. Most programs are very very bad about uh, using the full power of a machine to export. Um, the ScreenFlow program is really good at uh, uh, making use of all the available processors so it's sucking up all the processor time which is what we are after. So we'll go ahead and put this in background. We'll cancel this because we um, don't really require to do that. Now, so that said three minutes. So if you if you do the math really quickly, if you um, were doing that uh, same uh, export on a machine with only a single core, it would probably be between something like uh, 18 to 36 minutes for the three minute footage output. So that's another consideration is when you're doing um, exporting, like if you're setting up, for example, a mobile um, platform to do video encoding, which is what I was talking to Rob about, then what you do is get you a um, one of the latest uh, uh, MacBook Pros that has a uh, quad-core hyper-threaded um, processor in it, so you've got eight cores. In fact, 
The current MacBook Pros have a processor that is more powerful than the iMac that I'm using here to do this uh, video on. So I would guess that if you were using one of the new MacBook Pros, uh, that export time for a three minute video would probably be around two minutes, which is just insanely fast. So um, now uh, what I'm going to do is um, close down this video and then we're going to go through and uh, I'm going to try to drop in a green screen behind this and then after I've got the green screen image behind it then I'm going to go and drop in um, uh, Rob's uh, PR Reach uh, bumper and trailer assets so we're going to save this we're going to stop this mm -hmm. 